So we're finally here to meet SG and my role here today really is to facilitate this transition of helping SG come out of living a lie that she's been carrying and living with for years to setting herself free finally and hopefully being a greater version of herself and living her highest expression. Let's go meet SG. So before we reveal your big secret, let's just get to know you a little bit. What was life like for you as a young child? I was a very happy child. I would, but I'll always be with girls. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been a girl. Like, you know, play with girls, play netball, do everything. So you look like a, a girl now. I mean, I see a woman in front of me. What do you I'm mean? I'm a woman now. <laughs> so you were born a man, yes. a boy, yes. a male. Yes. How you hold a community, Moki Hulitin thing? Um, when I went to the Tangonan, even across Colon, you know, my mistress always said, always a baby, you know, like I, I, I felt for the, the, the accept me as I am. My friends would, would say, you need to find yourself a girlfriend, everything. And then, you know, I, I tried that. You did? Yes, I did. <laughs> what was that like? Um, it was weird to be in a relationship with a girl because um, I was under pressure of um, Mr. Leaga, but I'm not a girlfriend, so um, I had to make a plan as well. Unfortunately, the girl was a lesbian. I didn't know she was a lesbian. Uh -huh. the boy. Because we were both in a church. I you got know? you. Grew oh. up in a church and everything, so oh. you have to be pushed. I was like, 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 it's not always like that. There will be, you know, um, the issue of homosexuality. You could tell her it is, it's directed to me. So this is an orphanage? It's an orphanage. And was this deliberate? Is this something you'd say is a calling? How did this come about? I'm also an orphan. I was adopted by Mom Dora. She passed on. I was, I was, I was um, already finished my trick. And um, I found myself here from home. Came here because I wanted to be a radio presenter. I wanted to be on TV and everything. Ah. I got here and then I studied audiovisual communications. Uh -huh. And then I heard about auditions at, at Rainbow FM. It's a Christian community radio. And then I started as a um, commentary news reader. Uh -huh. So then they trained me. Then I started doing commentary news. And then eventually I became a presenter, you know. I was <laughs> Someone told me from the station that it was about my sexuality. To even went further as in like going to court. They said we should settle the matter and then we sat down and settled the matter. They pay me a salary over that month. Mm -hmm. And then they said they don't have money, they um non profit organizations. That's insane. So, Oh. I had to make peace with that. Sadly, we've got such a long way to go when it comes to the basic human rights of all people. I'm very glad she's stood up for herself, that she took them on, because as a matter of principle, it's very important that we, we stand up and we fight. I realized that I would always put people, people's happiness in front of mine. Yeah. You know, how they want me to look, to look like and everything. I had to, you know, just put a stop on that story. Yeah. Usually I want to be me and yeah. whatever the people say, na kito ba? Kita ba? Kita ba? Pilo ka nutlebo shoko, ay kila la kabona hore kimpeki kinel, so ka kinel la ka kikrola everything. Do you ever get scared? Because I mean, rase ba mom zansi, especially coming from black communities. Yeah. Every day we hear about hate crimes. Yeah. Is that something you ever feel? I do get get scared. I remember that at time I was going to work at mm. Mahare FM, and I was um, I nearly got raped. Mm. There were two guys who put. Uh, I was like, they took everything. They took my bag, money, cell phone, everything on a um, knife point. Uh, fortunately, the time they wanted to um, rape me, there was a car, car came through, and then um, they ran off. Kila dula for like a month. Kila kama msebe tini kavari potela. This is what happens and whatever. Kila for a month. Kifila kisa tepe at all. It's quite sad and troubling to hear about Eshdi's trauma. I'm just happy that she she lived to tell the story. Do you so, dress like this every day? Yes, I do dress like that, but uh -huh. sometimes I do dress like um, trousers and everything. 
Okay, so what is your big secret in your own words? My big secret in my own words is like, um, The secret, yeah, HD is puzzling. I don't know, that's just me. I'm revealing the secret to Mahoto. Mahoto is a lady that I met in June. So she's also one of the people who also help out here. I just want her to know me in a more, you know, deeper way. You don't think she already knows? I don't know. How do you think she'll receive the news? I'm ready whether she, she accept or she doesn't accept, but at least I'll be free. If Hanga Moheli kito utlabo shoko oba juwa katsibe net, lora ang amuhele katsibe ngirim kayona. Let's talk about the person that you've chosen to be your confidant. Who's that person for you? It's Sanele. And who's Sanele? Sanele is my boyfriend. Okay. Yes. So, what are your fears about coming out? I'll have people um, moving away from me especially because of what they believe in, you know, like you cannot stop people from what they believe in, especially Christians.